Positively unspeakable. To have had the secret of a hidden route from China to India right in our There's hands. There's no doubt, Sir Cedric. The Black Samurai abducted Marlene to prevent him from telling us that secret. The Black Samurai? That's obvious. It's equally obvious that their German leader, this, this Fräulein von Teufel, will find a way to force him to tell it to the Japs. Is Marlene... Yeah, Marlene's in there on his way to the Japanese sub. Get in there. Of course, it's not your fault, Hardy, nor mine. But unless your police find the old boy and fetch him back, I'll have to contact London and... Yes? The police. All oh, right. Quite right. Keep me advised. An amazing chap, that Captain Martin. And what is it? What's happened? Seems he found where they were holding Marling and got himself caught doing it. How'd he get word to the police? Managed to trick his captors and phone his Australian friend, Thompson. The police are on their way now. Don't come in there. Put him on the tug and lose him as soon as you can. Throw it over, it'll sink soon enough. All right, let's shove off. Was for where? I'll be all right. As soon as I get my breath back. Marlene's in here, chloroform. Get him out. Then don't leave him unguarded for one second while he's in Hong Kong. Tell me when you come with me. more than save Marling, Jack. It looks as if these papers will put the Black Samurai out of business. In Hong Kong, at any rate. And if this chap will talk, maybe we'll put Fräulein von Teufel out of business as well. Oh. One thing's certain. No one will ever be able to make this man betray Fräulein von Teufel. We owe you more than we can say, uh, Captain Martin, for your rescue of Marling. Thank you, Sir Cedric. Marling's safety is my personal responsibility. Uh, Semi-officially, of course. I must say you're certainly doing a splendid job of it. Moreover, the evidence you uncovered resulted in the rounding up of the Hong Kong branch of the Black Samurai. Including their leader, Fräulein von Teufel? Unfortunately, no. She and four of her agents escaped. However, the police haven't given up the chase. 
Well, here's hoping they catch them. Ma Ling's life is in constant danger as long as Fräulein von Teufel's at large. I have a radio message for you, Fräulein van Teufel, from Kageyama. Fräulein van Teufel? I don't think I understand. Who are you? I am Samson, black samurai. Proceed. What is the message? Kageyama says Maling must die. It is dangerous to wait. Tell Kageyama I still make the decisions for the black samurai. As long as we have a chance to get the secret from Maling, he must live. But he might tell our enemies first. He won't live that long. I have been invited to the conference. I'll see to that. If I ring for service during the day, be sure you answer it yourself. Oh, it's you, Janet. Come in. Good morning, Judy. I'll order some more tea. You'd better not. If we're going to the conference, you'd better get dressed. It's almost time. All right. I won't be a minute. I have made an English translation of the pack, Sir Cedric. Uh, let my secretary have it, please. This will suffice for my purposes. Uh, this says Your Excellency knows a secret route from China to India. That is correct. It lies through the province of which I am governor. And you are willing to grant China the use of that route? If China and Great Britain promise to close it again after the war. Uh, wouldn't such a road bring valuable trade to your state after the war? Nations with wealth or who want it are the ones at war. My country prefer their poverty and peace. I see China's already signed the pact. And since I am empowered to sign for Great Britain, and uh, now I believe we are ready to learn the secret. The pact requires one other signature. Another signature? Whose? That of the United States. But the United States has no interest in the road. I think I can explain, Sir Cedric. His Excellency feels that a disinterested party might prevent a later misinterpretation of the pact. A conference has already been arranged at Honolulu. We are leaving by Clipper today. If His Excellency has reached a decision, there is little else we can accomplish here. I'll have to hurry to make a reservation on the Clipper. I'll see you at the hotel. Any further word on those missing black samurai agents? Only that we know positively there are four. One Jap and three Germans. Room service. 
Send up a tea service for one, as quickly as possible. Jap and three Germans. I think Your Excellency will be safer in here than in the lounge, but I suggest you keep this door locked. Thank you. Check. You know, this is the first time I thought we were really out of danger. That's a wonderful feeling. We are ready, Fräulein Van Teufel. Good. Take over the ship tonight at quarter of ten. That will only give us 15 minutes before we landed at the rendezvous. That's plenty of time. The steward is delighted that I am taking care of us. Did you see Fräulein von Teufel? Yes. We are to take over by quarter to ten, land at ten for the rendezvous with our submarine. Sir, good. But now, how about this ship and crew? This type clipper makes our task easier. Let me show you. I'm allowing ten minutes to take over. Now that should be ample time. Everybody is certain of his assignment? Very well. It is now 9.35 p.m. By 9.45, we must be in control. And you two lady, you at the other end. You two, get over there with your friends. Get going. The authorities spotted you in Hong Kong, but I persuaded them to let you take the clipper on the chance that you might give yourselves away by trying to pull something. Thanks for walking into the trap. Now we ought to be able to talk, don't you think? Sit down. This report clearly, sir. It is on course, but the code signal has not come over. 9.50. We should have received confirmation of the capture by now. I think we have spotted the cripples running right, sir. Good. Man the guns. 
If Fräulein von Teufel has failed, we are to shoot the clipper down. But, sir, Fräulein von Teufel and Marling are very important. Nevertheless, they will have to take their chances. Those are Tokyo's orders. Yes, sir. So, like Mr. and Mrs. Bauer, you still insist you don't know Fräulein von Teufel's identity? So far, I only have blank paper. Maybe we've saved the best till the last. Do you know who Fräulein von Teufel is? I know nothing. Somehow I believe the others were telling the truth when they said they didn't know anything. But you're lying! Now you people are spies, pirates! Piracy gets a death sentence in the United States. Now who's Fräulein von Teufel? Who is she? Dead. Poison dart in his throat. Well, it begins to look like Fräulein von Teufel isn't any farther away than one of the women in this compartment. Nobody leaves this room until we find out who killed that Jap. We'll have to search everybody for a weapon that could have fired that dart. Sorry, Trudy. But that pencil could have been rigged to fire a dart. Oh, certainly, Tommy. Well, I am sorry, but it was the quickest way of clearing you of suspicion. Nobody really suspected you, Trudy. Thanks, Jack. You had me worried for a moment. Now, please don't break this one. I need it for my work. Chance. 